الرحمن الرحيم Dear brothers and sisters or specifically for this episode I would say dear sisters and brothers because we're going to talk about uh, the female companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and their involvement in Sahih al-Bukhari but let us start with the number of the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari all of the hadith including those quoted in the titles, including those narrations brought to support an earlier narration, those are mutaba'at, and the ones quoted in the title called al-mu'allaqat, all of these hadith are 9,082 hadith. Without any repetition, the hadith would be 2,602. However, Imam Bukhari never considered that he repeated any hadith because every hadith is mentioned again with a different chain of transmission. So it is a new hadith or with some variants in its words. So it's a different hadith. So Imam Bukhari stated he would never repeat a hadith. So this is very exciting here. The number of the Sahaba he narrated from is 153, all male and female together, 153 three of the Sahaba. Amongst these, there is 31 female companions. And for me, this is striking because that percentage is 20%. And to have 20% of active scholars in a certain era, such as the era of the Prophet wasallam, 20% are active of women. That's a very high percentage. And to compare, just take any book of who's who in any country in the West, Europe, and check the percentage of active women or celebrities in the society to see that there would be around 10%, 15%, maximum 20%. Now we have 20% of the narrators in Sahih al-Bukhari are women. How beautiful is this? Actually, it goes further to the total number of the female companions of the Sahaba, the Sahabiyat, in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. We know that the number of the Sahaba in general is above 100,000. Some said 140,000 even. However, the ones who are documented, whose biographies are well known for us, let's say the celebrities, the ones who were famous, are approximately 12,000. Of these, we have 1,500 female companions, active they played some role. There is a story about them. They narrated hadith in general. And that's also another indication of the activeness of women in the society around the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam. That's the liberation of women. It was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who came to liberate women. بارك الله فيكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كم سعيت إلى أعتاب سدته أعدت أرفل في ثوب بنتي